Okay, good morning. This is Carlos from NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. I was uh, on the forum this morning, the Harley Davidson forum, and somebody asked a question about the Hertz ST25 tweeter and the filter cap, the, the base block or the crossover that comes with it. And some people are trying to help and they were giving them information that was completely false. This is not opinion, this is 100% fact. Somebody told him that the cap was hooked up backwards and that's why he the tweeter didn't sound right. The person said that if you hook up the cap one way, it blocks bass. If you hook it up the other way, it blocks highs. It's impossible. It's a non-polarized, six decibel per octave filter capacitor. It is high pass only, and it's non-directional. No matter which way you put it, it's going to do exactly the same thing. We like to use DSPs. We use the filter on the tweeter only to protect it in case there's a mistake made in the DSP, but we'll get into that at a later time. The filter on the cap must be used, especially if you're not running a DSP, and this is why. If you look in the manual or on the box for the Hertz tweeter, it says the tweeter likes to play from 5,000 Hertz up to 20,000 Hertz. The preferred crossover method is a second order 12 decimal per octave slope, so we'll get into that later. But the cap that comes with the tweeter is preset by the guys at Hertz. And if you use it and run the right amount of the tweet, to powder the tweeter, the tweeter will not blow up. Now, let me show you. I'm running pink noise. Have the RTA set up. So I actually have an ST25 hooked up with the cap. I'm going to show you why you need the cap. So over here on the screen, this is 5,000 hertz. This is tweeter frequency. So everything from there to the right is highs. Everything from there to the left is bass. So watch. I hooked it up to the tweeter with no cap. The reason the tweeter didn't blow up is the generator can only generate one watt. So at one watt or one watt, one volt RMS. So at one volt, you're not blowing the, the tweeter up. But as you can see, the tweeter's getting everything from 20,000 hertz to 20 hertz. Now I'm gonna move the jumper to the other side through the filter. Now, as you can see, it's exactly 5K on the nose. So we have 5,000, 6,000, 8,000, 10,000, 20,000. So the tweeter is only getting tweeter frequency. Now I'm gonna flip. I'm gonna flip the capacitor to show you that it's non-directional. And it's gonna be exactly the same thing on the screen both times. So here's the cap. Now I'm gonna flip it over. Now with the cap flip, I'm gonna switch my leads. And look at that, exactly the same, 5K. So you just watch me flip the capacitor and it's still blocking. Now, if you notice the slope, we waste a lot of energy to, so to get the tweeter not to blow up, we have to start crossing the tweeter over at around 12.5K. That way with the six decibel per octave slope, by the time it sounds to 5K, there's almost no energy. Daniel Hearn was explaining this when he was trying to help somebody set up their DSR1 DSP. And he was explaining where you don't set the slope at the cutoff point at exactly where you want the tweeter to stop playing. You have to set it a little higher because even with the 12 or 24 decibel per octave slope, there's still energy below the cutoff frequency. So it's just, I don't want to get too technical. It's just really, really, really basic. One more thing I'm going to show you. By switching the capacitor value, you can also switch the crossover point. So if you lose the cap or break the cap that came with the tweeter, you can go to Parts Express or there's a bunch of charts online. As long as you know what you want the cutoff frequency to be and you know the impedance of the tweeter, you can order a cap for like 50 cents and install online. Now, I chose a different value on purpose to show you that this graph is going to change. It's going to allow more bass to go to the tweeter. See that? So now we have a lower point of 1.2K and it started dropping off at around 10K. All I did was go with a different cap. And once again, I'm gonna switch the other side of the cap or, and show you no protection goes all the way across. Simple capacitor. That's the one that comes with the tweeter. No cap, face to your tweeter, we'll blow the tweeter up and you won't blow your tweeter up. See that? Simple, 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 simple. 